What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Ngayong araw, syempre, meron tayong panibagong lesson. Pero bago tayo pumunta doon, balikan muna natin yung nakaraan kong itinuro sa si inyo. Yun ay ang solving problems involving two sets and also solving problems involving three sets. So kung nais yung balikan yun, ilalagay kayo link sa description sa baba para mabalikan nyo yung lesson na yun. So, ano pa nga bang inaantay natin? Ang lesson natin for today ay Introduction to Integers and Absolute Value of a Number. So, ano nga ba yung integers? Ang integers consists of the positive numbers and also yung zero at yung negative numbers. Yung mga positive numbers at negative numbers, they are called opposites. Kung parehas sila ng distance from zero, opposite sila. Ang sign for negative numbers ay ito. At ang sign naman for positive numbers ay ayon. Pero kadalasan, hindi na nilalagyan ng symbol ang positive. So, minsan, meron siyang symbol for positive or minsan, makikita natin na wala na siyang symbol. So, kapag walang symbol, automatic, yon ay positive. Maliban lamang sa zero na walang sign. Siya ay nasa gitna, siya ay neutral, kaya wala siyang sign. So, punta na tayo ngayon sa ating lesson. natin today ay definition of integers. So, integers consists of positive numbers, zero, and negative numbers. So, for example, positive 4, zero, negative 3, negative 10, positive 9, negative 20, positive 20, positive 19, negative 30, positive 18, negative 24, and positive 22. So, ito yung integers and yung number line. So, yan. Yung guhit na yan, yung number line, it extends in both direction infinitely to the right and to the left. So, lahat ng nasa kanan ni 0, nasa right niya, yan ay tinatawag na positive integers. Lahat naman na nasa left niya or nasa left ng 0, ang tawag naman dyan ay negative integers. And lahat ng parehas ang distance o layo from 0, ang tawag sa kanila ay opposites. By the way, if you will look at this, ang symbol for positive integers ay parang plus sign na maliit. Ayan. Ayan, plus sign. Ito naman, yung negative integers naman is, ayan, negative sign naman yung tawag dyan. Ayan, para, lang, para naman siyang minus pero may iksi lang siya, hindi siya sobrang haba. Ganto rin sa positive integers. Okay, by the way, si 0 pala, wala siyang sign. Okay, so 0 lang talaga siya. So now, let us find the opposite of negative 5, positive 4, negative 10, positive 9, and negative 7. So ngayon, hanapin muna natin yung distance ng negative 5 from 0. So para makapunta tayo sa negative 5, punta tayo sa kaliwa from 0. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5. So, napunta tayo sa negative 5 ng 5 papunta sa kaliwa. So, para mahanap natin yung opposite niya, syempre, ang opposite or kabaliktara ng kaliwa ay kanan. So, mag-move din tayo ng 5 to the right. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And we stopped at positive 5. So, the answer is positive 5. Next, positive 4. So, from 0 up to positive 4, 1, 2, 3, and then 4. So, para makuha natin yung opposite niya, bukunta naman tayo ng kaliwa. Apat din. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then we stopped at negative 4. So, the answer is negative 4. 
O paano pag sobrang laki na, hindi na, hindi na kasha sa number line natin. For example, negative 32. So, anong gagawin natin? So, madali lang po yun. To find the opposite, lagi naman ang kabaliktaran lang ng positive ay negative. At ang kabaliktaran naman ng negative ay positive. So, just like this one. Negative 5, ang opposite niya, positive 5. Ito naman si 4, ang opposite niya ay negative 4. So, syempre, ang opposite ng negative 10 ay positive 10. And, consequently, the opposite of positive 9 is negative 9. And lastly, the opposite of negative 7 is positive 7. Okay, so sa everyday life natin, meron tayong integers na tinatawag. Or ma malalaman natin or makikita natin ang integers in real life. So, here, we represent the following in integers. So, 5 steps to the right. So, pupunta ka raw ng, sa right ng 5 steps. So, positive siya, ba? So, that will be positive 5. And then next, 8 steps to the left. So, papunta naman sa kaliwa. Pag papunta sa kaliwa, that will signify as, as negative. So, that will be negative 8. And then... Number 3, again of 9 points. Nadagdagan ka daw ng 9 points. So, di ba maganda yon? So, positive yon, Positive 9. And then, number 4, 4 floor, floors down. Bababa ka daw ng 4 na floors pa. So, pag down, yun naman ay negative. So, that will be negative 4. And then, last, a loss of 6 points. Nabawasan ka daw ng 6 points. Negative siya, di ba? So, negative 6. So, ganyan lang po mag-represent ng integers in real life. So, let's have this another activity. Let us plot the following points on the number line. Hanapin lang natin yung mga points na to sa number line and then ilalagay natin on top of it yung letter. So, negative 5. Asan ang negative 5? Ito po. So, ayan yan. Pangalanan po natin na letter A kasi A siya. So, okay na tayo dyan. How about 0? For B. So, ito po yun. Lagyan po natin ng B. And then, negative 7. So, kaliwa siya kasi negative. So, ito po yun. That will be C. And then, okay na tayo dyan. Positive 8. Sa so, right po yan. So, ito po. D ang pangalan niya. And then, Negative 9 is on the left. Ayan, E po siya. So, ayun naman yung E. Tapos na tayo. So, ganyan lang po mag-locate ng plot or mag-plot ng points on the number line. Okay, let's now move on to another lesson. Absolute value of a number. So, pag sinabi natin absolute value of a number, it is the distance of a number from zero. And it is denoted by ito, yung dalawang guhit. And kapag ang number ay nasa loob ng absolute value, it is always positive. Let's have an activity. Let us evaluate the following. Absolute value of negative 4. So, asan ang negative 4? So, pag sinabi natin absolute value of negative 4, distance niya from 0. So, from 0, punta raw tayo sa negative 4. So, ilan yun? 1, 2, 3, and then 4. So, ilan yun nakuha natin? Apat ang kanyang distance. Let's go to the next one. Absolute value of positive 7. So, from 0, let's go to positive 7. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 7. So, the answer is 7. Okay, next. Absolute value of negative 10. So, punta tayo from 0 to negative 10. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then 10. So, nakuha natin is 10. Okay, so without using the number line, pwedeng-pwede nating sagutan ito. So, sinabi ko naman kanina, it is always positive. So, ang 
number na nasa loob ng absolute value will always be positive. So, kung negative 5 yan, magiging positive 5. Or 5 yung distance niya. Kahit naman bilangin nyo, 5 talaga yung distance niya from 0. And then, next is negative 3. So, negative 3. So, 0 to negative 3. So, dahil negative siya at nasa loob siya ng absolute value, it will be positive. So, 3 siya. So, 3 units siya from 0 to negative 3. So, yun yung technique. Kahit hindi na tayo gumamit ng number line, basta nasa loob ng absolute value, it will always be positive. So, let us continue for number 6 to 10. So, number 6 is the negative of the absolute value of negative 4. So, that will be negative. Copy natin negative. And then, ano absolute value ng negative 4? Di ba magiging positive siya? So, positive 4. So, the answer is negative 4. Ma'am, ba't siya nag-negative? Sabi mo, laging positive yun. Lagi siyang positive kung nasa loob siya ng absolute value. Pero pag may negative sa labas, kakopyain mo yun. Kasi negative yung labas niya. Pero this one, positive 4 pa rin siya. Pero dahil may negative sa labas, naging negative 4. Next. Let's have absolute value of 4 plus absolute value of 5. So, what's the absolute value of negative 4? That will be 4. And then, plus, copy natin yan. Absolute value of positive 5 is 5. So, 4 plus 5 is 9. So, 9 is the answer. And then, absolute value of 10, positive 10 yan. Minus, copy natin. And then, absolute value of negative 4 is positive 4. So, the answer is 6. Okay, next. Ito naman. Oops, may multiplication. So, absolute value of negative 5 multiplied to 2. So, absolute value of negative 5 is positive 5 multiplied to positive 2. So, the answer is 5 times 2 is 10. So, the answer is 10. And then last, the absolute value of negative 4 divided by 2. So, the absolute value of negative 4 is positive 4 and then divided it by 2. So, the answer is 2. So, yan lang. Madali lang siya. Basta tandaan, pag nasa loob ng absolute value symbol, it will always be positive. So, let us now move on sa ating next activity. Let us fill in the blanks with greater than, less than, or equal. So, kaway-kaway sa mga hindi pa rin nakakakabisado nito hanggang ngayon. Oh, no! So, ito po ay symbol for greater than. This is a symbol for less than. And this one, syempre, alam nyo na yan, equal. So, pag mas malaki yung nasa kaliwa, greater than yung tawag doon. Pag mas malaki naman yung nasa kanan, less than naman yun. Okay, so, so much for that. Let us now move on here. So, ano daw ang dapat ilagay natin dito sa blank na to? Absolute value of negative 5. And then, yung kabila naman is absolute value of negative 4. So, ang absolute value ng negative 5 ay positive 5. At ang absolute value naman ng negative 4 ay 4. So, 5 and 4. Mas malaki si 5. So, siya daw yung kakainin. Taray. Parang kinder pa din na. Ayan. So, sa kanya po ilalagay yan. So, this is greater than. And then, positive 4. Absolute value of positive 4 and then absolute value of negative 4. So, absolute value of 4 is positive 4. And then, absolute value of negative 4 is also positive 4. So, or 4 units. So, here, 4 and 4 equal. And then, next, number 3. Absolute value of negative 10. Kabila naman, absolute value of negative 8. So, absolute value of negative 10 is positive 10 or 10 units. Ito naman po, absolute value of negative 8 is 8 units. So, 10 and 8, mas malaki si 10. So, ganyan po. Greater than. And then, negative of absolute value of negative 5. Sa kabila naman, positive 5. So, ito may negative siya. So, copy natin negative. And then, absolute value of negative 5 is 5 units. So, negative 5 yan. Ito naman, absolute value of positive 5 is 5 units. So, negative 5 tsaka 5. Mas maliit si negative 5. So, less than ang sagot dyan. 
let's have another set. So, number 5, absolute value of 10 minus 5, kabila naman is 3, absolute value of 3 plus 2. So, 10 minus 5 is 5, the absolute value of 5 is 5. And then, to naman, 3 plus 2 is 5, and then the absolute value of 5 is also 5 units. So, 5 and 5 equal po. Okay, let's proceed to number 6. Negative of the absolute value of 4, and then absolute value of 3 minus 1. So, this is negative, lagay natin, and then absolute value of 4 is 4 units. And then, 3 minus 1 is 2. The absolute value of 2 is 2. So, negative 4 and then 2, this is less than. Kasi mas malit si negative 4. And then, absolute value of 2 plus 1 plus 3. So, 2 plus 1 plus 3 is 6. Absolute value of 6 is 6 units. And then, absolute value of 6 minus 4, that is 2. Absolute value of 2 is 2 units. So, 6 and 2, this is greater than. Dito naman sa number 8, the absolute value of the product of 2 times 3. And then, kabila naman is the absolute value of 10 minus 4. So, 2 times 3 is 6. The absolute value of 6 is 6 units. And then, 10 minus 4 is 6. The absolute value of 6 is also 6 units. So, 6 and 6 equal. So, ayan po. Tandaan lang lagi natin is kapag ang number or ano man yung operations or kung ano man sagot sa mga operations like this ay nasa loob ng absolute value symbol, automatic, lagi siyang positive. That is all for today, guys. Salamat po sa panonood ng aking video lessons. Shout out sa lahat ng mga sadyante ko. Mahal kayo ni ma'am. And also, sa lahat ng mga subscribers ko dito sa YouTube. Wow, taray. So, stay safe po and God bless everybody. Bye-bye!